The grammar point we take here is the present continuous tense. As the name suggests, the present continuous tense expresses a continuous action. The present continuous is formed with the continuous participle and the present tense of the helping verb ona. Before we take the present continuous tense, let's first learn how to make the continuous participle. The continuous participle is a two-word participle. The first word is the root of the verb and the second word is raha. The second word raha changes according to number and gender. You can guess how the second word raha changes. Raha is masculine singular form. The masculine plural form is rahe and the feminine singular and plural forms are rahi. Let's take the verb khelna to play. The masculine singular continuous participle is khel raha. The masculine plural form is khel rahe and the feminine singular and plural form is khel rahi. Let's take another verb ana to come. The masculine singular form is a raha. The masculine plural form is a rahe and the feminine singular and plural form is a rahi. Let's take one more verb sona to sleep. The masculine singular form is so raha. The masculine plural form is so rahe and the feminine singular and plural form is so rahi. So you can see how easy it is to make the continuous participle form, the root of the verb and raha rahe rahi based on the number and gender. Let's now take the present continuous tense. The present continuous tense expresses an action that is happening at the time of speech. It is very similar to the present continuous in English, such as I am playing, you are playing, he is playing. The present continuous tense in Hindi is formed with the continuous participle of the main verb and the present tense form of the helping verb, hona. Let's now take the verb khelna to play and go through all the forms of present continuous tense. The first person singular form is ma khel raha hu, I am playing. It's a masculine form. That means a boy is uttering the sentence. A girl would say ma khel rahi hu, I am playing. So you can see here that the continuous participle takes the feminine form in case of the feminine subject. The participle changes according to the gender of the subject. A boy would say ma khel raha hu, I am playing. A girl would say ma khel rahi hu, I am playing. For the second person singular, tu khel raha hai, you are playing for the masculine subject. Tu khel rahi hai, again you are playing for the feminine subject. As I said in earlier grammar points, the students should avoid this form. It is extremely informal and often sounds rude if you use this form. For the third person singular, wo aur ye khel raha hai, he is playing. Wo aur ye khel rahi hai, she is playing. Here you can see that the present continuous tense is gender sensitive. It has different forms for the masculine gender and different for feminine. Let's now take plural forms. We are playing in Hindi would be hum khel rahi hai for masculine subject. If the subject is feminine, then hum khel rahi hai. If a group of boys is playing, they would say hum khel rahe hai. If a group of girls is playing, they would say hum khel rahi hai. A mixed gender group would take the masculine plural form. In these sentences, you can see that the plural form of the participle khel rahe and khel rahi are used. And also the plural form of the helping verb is used ha. Let's take the second person plural. As I mentioned in the previous grammar points, Hindi has two forms of second person plural, tum and aap. Tum is informal but acceptable and aap is a formal one. You can use tum with friends and close relatives. For tum, the present continuous tense is tum khel rahe ho for masculine subject and tum khel rahe ho for feminine subject. The English translation will be you are playing. For aap, it is aap khel rahe hai for masculine plural form and aap khel rahe hai for feminine form. The translation will again be you are playing. And finally, for the third person plural form, they are playing will be ve or ye khel rahe hai for masculine subject and ve or ye khel rahe hai for the feminine subject. Let's take some example sentences. Bache maidan mein khel rahe hai. Children are playing on the playground. The subject bache, the children here is masculine plural. That's why the participle and the helping verb are in masculine plural form. Khel rahe hai. Bache maidan mein khel rahe hai. The children are playing on the playground. Ma TV dekh raha hu. I'm watching TV. Here, a boy is saying this sentence. That's why the participle is masculine. Dekh raha. 
लड़कियां गाने गा रही हैं द गर्ल्स आर सिंगिंग सॉन्ग्स लड़कियां आर फेमिन पुगल सो गा रही हैं तुम यहां क्या कर रही हो वट आर यू डूइंग हेयर अ गर्ल इज बींग आस्ट द स्पीकर इज आस्किंग अ गर्ल वट आर यू डूइंग हाउ डू वी नो दैट इज अ गर्ल वी कैन सी दैट इन द फेमिन पार्टिसिपल कर रही नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल क्या आप सो रही हैं आर यू स्लीपिंग अगेन अ फेमिन सब्जेक्ट इज हेयर दैट मीन्स अ गर्ल इज बींग आस्ट एंड फाइनली मैं सितार बजा रही हूं आई एम प्लेइंग सितार अगेन अ फेमिन सब्जेक्ट इज हेयर दैट मीन्स अ गर्ल इज अटरिंग दिस सेंटेंस and finally just like in present habitual tense in the negative sentences helping verb can be dropped if the present continuous sentence has a negation the helping verb forms who ha ha o can be dropped main nahi kha raha i am not eating you can see that who is dropped here wo kuch nahi kar raha he is not doing anything in this sentence ha is dropped ladkiyan nahi so rahi the girls are not sleeping in case of the feminine plural subject the nasalization of the helping verb ha is moved to the participle rahi